Hey my beautiful Libra peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moons Tarot and I'm coming at you with your June 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. Just want to mention guys before we start, it is the ending of May here. So from now until the end of May, the 31st, if you'd like to get a 15 minute personal reading with me for 20% off, feel free to use code POPPIN. That's going to be P-O-P-P-I-N for 20% off at checkout. Uh, so if you're interested, my website is in the first link below. Just wanted to mention that as we got about a week or so left of that sale running. But either way, how are we doing, Libra? I hope we're doing good. All right. And we're going to check out and see what we got going on here for June 2023. So let's see what's going on here for the Libra, baby. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus throughout June 2023. What information is rolling on in here for the lovely Libra gang? Let's go ahead and check it out. You had an Ace of Swords flying out here for you. Pretty much the card of truth it could be about also coming to like deep realizations and having kind of like an epiphany in a situation here in your life but ace of swords is typically the card of the truth so it could be recognizing the truth coming to a moment of realization ace of swords can also be a card here of like needing to have clear and precise communication i do see for some of you in the month of june this might be about having to kind of clearly convey a message to somebody so that there's no misinterpretation whatsoever they fully understand what is being communicated for some of you libras i'm kind of getting the feeling here where it's like how could i make something more clear to somebody like someone is just not understanding you or they're understanding you but disregarding you and pursuing and carrying on doing what they're doing Nonetheless, I do feel like for some of you Libras, that could be the case. Like maybe you've turned down somebody in love and it's like, no matter how many times you turn them down, it's like they keep trying to shoot their shot and you're like, I'm not interested, you know, and you've given them that point very clearly for others. Maybe you're asking somebody to respect a boundary of yours, but they still continue to overstep. So it's like, I've made it pretty clear. I'm going to continue to make it clear, but then I'm going to get to a point where I just stop responding because if you want to disregard the point, that's completely on you. All right. So that's an interesting overall energy showing up here so far for june let's have a look at your current situation though what's the current situation for libra seven of cups here we do got a temperance card coming out as well and then lastly we have here a king of cups showing up at this time too so seven of cups coming into play here for you this is a card that represents there's a lot of confusion in the air and I think that with the temperance card showing up here for you, you're really focusing at this time right now on kind of mending that confusion. You're getting your feelings figured out. You're kind of figuring out what you want in your life, what you want to do. And I think that you're coming to a point here where you're becoming more expressive. We also got here the King of Cups, which is like, okay, I'm not going to let people live my life for me or let people guide me. It's my time to guide myself. It's my time to come into my truth, Ace of Swords, and figure out, who am I going to be? I am a Libra. Who is this Libra going to be and who is this Libra going to become? So I feel like identity issue has kind of been a thing for some of you. And I think that that might be what's been showing up for the past couple of months. Like, who am I and who do I want to be is what I'm kind of feeling here. But this is the month where you're figuring out your identity. Like you each and every single day get to define who you are. It doesn't matter what your past says you are. It doesn't matter what other people say you are. Your identity is completely up to you. If you want to be, literally be somebody brand new right here right now you have that ability to do it because you own and define your very own identity so i'm getting that feeling here of you becoming more expressive it's like i'm tired of people trying to run the show seven of cups so i'm going to take this time right now to heal to weed out the people in my life who are negative and to keep around the people who are good for me and focus up now on realizing and figuring out essentially who am i and who do i want to become so I see that being kind of the overall theme here and the current situation jumping into June. Uh, let's have a look here and see what you need to be aware about right now. So we got here a two of pentacles, a four of cups. We got here the ten of pentacles. And then lastly for you, Libra, we do have the world card showing up here too. You might find throughout June here, two of pentacles to the four of cups, that things feel like they're being held on to by a string in your life. It might feel like you're holding on to relationships by a string, to a work situation by a string, and everything that kind of feels that way, know that it's okay to let that string go and to let that balloon fly, is what I want to say for you, Libra. Like, don't hold on to anything by a string. If something's being held on by a thread, it's like, let it go, let it fly away. It's okay to let go of those things. So I feel like one of the biggest things to be aware about at this time is that if something is really not stable and it really just seems to be moving in that direction of getting ready to exit your life, let it exit 
very, very easily with ease. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Ten of Pentacles, though, that is the card here that does represent a lot of stability, a lot of happiness, a lot of grounded energy, too. It is the card that represents family. For some of you, I do feel that calling on your family or asking your family for support in whatever area of life you may need support can be super beneficial for you, too. Because with the world card coming in here for you, excuse me, <clears throat> with the world card coming in here for you, world card represents that you're moving in a new world. Like, remember how I said, I feel like this month is about identifying who you are and who you want to become. That's happening. So you're moving into a new world because essentially if you're becoming a new person, you're living in a whole new world. It's not the same world as it was yesterday. So yeah, I feel like whatever you're going through at this time, if you need support from friends and family, don't feel afraid to rely on them. Don't feel afraid to ask for help if that's what's needed or ask for support if that's what's needed at this time. Because I feel like there's tons of people here who are willing to rally for you, is what I want to say as well. All right, so, so far, in reference to what you need to be aware about, if things are holding on by a thread, let the thread fall apart and break. Do not try to waste any time trying to reinforce a really loose thread. It's not working, I feel. So if it's not working, don't try to make it work. Okay, and then in reference to moving forward into your new identity and who you want to be, if you need any sort of support, don't be afraid. People want to rally for you. All right. Now let's have a look here into June. Let's see what's going to be going on here with Libra specifically. Now we got here the five of swords. I do feel like there's been some frustration going on around you guys. Tell me more about what this frustration has been. We have here the queen of wands and we have here the three of pentacles. I feel like one of the major frustrations you've been having is self-expression. Queen of wands is that card that can represent self-expression. And the three of pentacles here is a card about feeling put together. So we're going back once again to expressing who you are and trying trying to put together who you want to be. So that's been causing, I feel, a lot of frustration in your life. Tell me more about this. Five of Pentacles. You've kind of been feeling detached lately. Like, it's like I almost feel out of place. I don't know where I fit in the world. Maybe some of you guys have been feeling this way about your career. I know sometimes it can be a little rough if it's like I see all my friends having their careers figured out and what it is they're doing, or I see my family having their career figured out, and I'm kind of just like, where the hell do I fit, you know? Where the hell am I supposed to go in terms of career? It just feels like it's not working for me, you know? Same thing with love. It's like everybody in my life has got a boyfriend, a girlfriend, they're married, they have kids, and I'm over here like, well, where do I fit in and with who, right, at the end of the day? So it's kind of hard when you feel like everybody around you seems to be achieving even the things you want and you kind of feel left out but that's not to worry because it doesn't matter if you're an early bloomer or a late bloomer your time will come okay libra so don't worry too much about it i think that the first thing to do here in june is identify who the fuck you want to be and once that's figured out the rest is easy man the rest will come with the identity you shift into see what I'm saying? So you figure out who you are first and then life will do the rest for you. Okay. What other information do we have about Libra's month ahead? Six of Pentacles coming into play for you. Beautiful. And we also have here the Empress, which is the Libra card. So I do believe you are going to be coming into the identity that you resonate with. You're figuring out who you want to be now. Okay. Now, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. It's also a card of balance. And then the Empress card showing up here is a card of growth, but it's also the card of recognizing the beauty not just only on the outside but within as well so i see that you're starting to see yourself in a whole new light and a whole new perspective chances are libra who you previously were and who you previously identified as was probably a person that maybe you weren't entirely happy with maybe you weren't happy with with your life maybe you weren't happy with a story that was written right maybe you didn't feel happy with who you were what you were doing what your career was who you associated with and it's like at the end of the day that version of myself wasn't my best version. But the great thing is that you are the author of your story. You get to write your story <laughs> each and every single day. So you're writing this new character, this new version of yourself as the best version it can be. And starting to see that growth come in is truly fucking beautiful jumping into the month here of June because you're starting to see it play out. We got here the Page of Pentacles. We got here the King of Wands. I'm hearing that a little goes a long way, and it certainly does. Page of Pentacles is like... I started off slow, making different types of changes to the version of myself I want to be, but the more you started to see those small steps become success, it started to make you become more interested in shifting and transforming your life. And I think that small steps are going to equal great success. 
I just want to throw that out there for you guys as well. So small changes are going to be big changes at the end of the day for you jumping into June 2023. So let's say in reference to the version of who you want to be, let's say you want to change up your financial situation. And let's say you've been working on landing a better job and a job that you really are interested in. And then let's say jumping into June, you get that job. You're like, yes, you know what? I switched jobs. This is awesome. That was one step I took. And now that I see the success there, it's like you become super interested in shifting everything else in your life. And I want to reiterate, at the fact that you are the person who is the creator of your story. You are the author of your story. So you have the ability to shift the details in any light you want to, whether that's positive or negative. But I strongly would urge shift your details in your story in a positive direction for sure. So coming into June 2023, it's like you take one small step. Maybe you want to change how you view yourself. Maybe in the past you didn't have a lot of self-love, but now you're working on it. If you can start seeing yourself in a more loving way, that's a small step that's going to make a huge difference in the long run. So it's like the more you complete these small changes, they all add up to become your brand new version of yourself that you're very, very happy with. Okay. Now we touched base so far on the current situation, the overall energy. We talked a little bit about what you need to be aware about and we talked a little bit about what's coming here for June. I want to have a look here and see what does Libra need to hear the most right here and right now coming into June 2023. So what is it that Libras need to hear the most moving throughout their month of June? We have the Ace of Wands. We have here the Ten of Wands and we also have here the Page of Wands showing up as well. You know in the past you probably felt a huge blockage when it came to like wanting to be a better version of who you are. You probably felt that you were stuck or that it was unachievable and it was like I don't even want to even dream of a better version of me if I don't believe that I'm going to make it happen so I feel like you had a lot of mental blocks and the most important thing that I think you need to hear right now is that those mental blocks are the only thing that is setting you apart from becoming your greatest version period because it's not anything external it's not the universe it's not other people's opinions it's literally that mental block that you hold within yourself so are you going to let a belief system that tells you that you cannot become who you want to be stop you from becoming who you want to be are you going to let yourself stand in the way of you that's what it really comes down to so i feel like what you need to hear the most is that you have all the potential in the world to create ace of wands and i think that also starting off small is also going to be best thing or the best thing for you with the page of wands because you know when you can create small inevitably and then you can start to see the power of your creation then the more confident you're going to become in creating and writing better pages in your story so don't be afraid guys to start small and then build up big is what i want to say now overall guys at the end of the day ace of wands showing up here ten of wands over here you're the only person standing in front of yourself so jumping into june don't start being who you want to be Okay. All right. Moving on forward. What can Libras expect for the rest of their June 2023? Then we'll check. We'll take a look here at the outcome. Okay. What can Libras expect throughout the rest of their month? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have here the Page of Cups. We have here the Eight of Swords. And then lastly, we have the Three of Cups showing up as well. So you're going to go for it is what I feel for you. Page of Cups, you're going to go for it, guys. In whatever area of life you're trying to make a change, you're really hunkering down, you're committing to it, you're giving it your all, and most importantly, you're giving it your all with a very positive attitude. We have here the Eight of Swords. Of course, you might have concerns and worries, but guess what? You're going to be happy with the results regardless, Three of Cups, because I do see you guys getting results here in June 2023. So really stay committed, guys, to becoming the version of who you want to be, because it's going to start to pan out and play out for you because once again as annoying as it might be you are the author of your story okay taking a look here at the overall outcome for libra throughout june 2023 take a look at this two of wands and the star card jumping right on out for you you can be the star this month but you're gonna have to choose it for yourself you see what i'm saying two of wands that says that you have a choice. You can have a choice to either leave behind who you were and step in with the other wand here of who you want to be, or you cannot go forward with who you want to be and you can stay behind and be that version of you of yourself currently. Okay. The point is though, is that the star is your choice. Do you want to be the star this month or do you want to stay where you're at? You know, so I definitely feel here that the outcome is very cl crystal clear. The choice is yours. The choice is up to you. Uh, but I feel like many of you here have been struggling and feeling like I don't know who I am or who I want to be. And I don't know where I fit in for the longest time. And, you know, with situations like that, I'd say to the I'd say that I'd say to you guys, for anybody who's experiencing with that, 
Stop trying to fit yourself in a box or a category and just start taking a look at who you want to be. And it doesn't matter if it's not similar to other people. It's like, be who the fuck you want to be, even if you don't notice that other people identify with it, right? Because inevitably, you will find your soul tribe. Inevitably, you will find people in life who are similar to you and who resonate with you, no matter who you decide to step up and become, you know? So let's say this entire reading for whatever Libra's watching was all about career, and you've really always wanted to be in the fashion industry, but nobody around you fucks with fashion or cares about fashion. Well, oh well. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get in that industry and you're going to meet a ton of people who love and support fashion because they want to work with you. And then you get to align with some new friends and connect with new people that like what it is you do and that align with what it is you do, right? So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what identity you start shifting into, you will find soul family members to resonate with, okay? So don't try to put yourself too much in a category or a box or worry about whether or not people will support what you do or whether or not people will resonate with you. Like I said, guys, the first step this month is just getting into that identity of who do you want to become and the rest of your life will manifest around that okay so you want to be the successful person in business start shifting and becoming that successful person in business start viewing yourself as a successful individual start figuring out how to conduct business how to do business and figure out what kind of business you want to start then when you start to shift into that identity everything else around you in life will now start to tailor to this new version of who you are so keep on writing a story and write this story in a very beautiful way. Even for some of you Libras, take a chance on getting out a piece of a paper and a pen or a pencil, whatever the case may be. Literally write your story down. You know what I mean? Give that a go jumping into June 2023. I think you'll be shocked and surprised at just how well it pans out and plays out too. You know, that's one of the biggest manifestation techniques I've always used to do was I'd take a piece of uh, paper and a pen and I'd start writing how my day's going to go. Today, I experienced this. I'd write everything in the present moment as if it already happened. And then I'd watch it unfold day by day by day. It's a very powerful technique. So I would definitely say Libra, give that a shot here too. All right. But you're going to figure out who you are and you're going to align with the star and be exactly where you need to be. And the most beautiful thing of all is you're going from... I don't know where I fit into, I know who I am now. And it's not about fitting in, it's about being who I want to be. And the rest will continue to unfold. Okay? Libra is beautiful reading, guys. I love you all very much. I do hope you enjoyed here your June 2023 tarot reading. Thank you for coming out and spending some time with me. And hopefully I resonated with you well. Have a great day and a great rest of your month. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Much love, Libras. And have yourselves a good one. Peace.